Hello friends, welcome to a new episode of Strat India. Today we will discuss about how US exposed the limitation of Chinese AW capabilities during recent Taiwan crises. Despite the threatening calls from China, U.S. Speaker Nancy Pelosi landed in Taiwan as scheduled. Pelosi's aircraft reportedly took a longer and more indirect route, heading southeast toward the Indonesian part of Borneo. After that, it turned north and flew along the eastern part of the Philippines. Eight F-15 jet fighters took off from the Kadena Air Base, located in Japan's Okinawa Prefecture, ahead of the visit of U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to Taiwan along with five in-flight refueling tankers. As per media reports Chinese and U.S. forces engaged in reconnaissance and electronic warfare before and after Pelosi's visit to Taiwan, in which China failed to track the plane. China's state-owned media reported that the PLA Navy and PLA Air Force conducted full tracking and surveillance against the U.S. Air Force transport aircraft flying Pelosi and her delegation from Kuala Lumpur to Taipei on August 2. The purpose of tracking was deterrence. However, PLA's tracking efforts which involved the J-16D aircraft and a Type 055 destroyer failed. The J-16D is China's indigenously developed electronic warfare aircraft based on the J-16, often touted as a competitor to the American EA-18 Growler. The aircraft made its first public appearance last year during the Zhuhai Air Show in September 2021, featuring two large AW pods on its wings, designed to disrupt and jam the enemy's electronic equipment such as radars and communication systems. Similarly the Type 55 destroyer, China's most modern surface ship which boasts of a radar coverage area of 500 km could not detect the Nancy Pelosi aircraft indicating that its effective range in the real-world scenario would be much less. Couple this with the vast operating area as well as the Type 55's relative newness both in terms of its hardware and software, there should be little surprise that the PLAS cruiser could not locate Pelosi's plane. Almost all the PLA electronic warfare equipment couldn't work because they were all jammed by electronic interference by the American aircraft strike group sent by the Pentagon to escort Nancy Pelosi aircraft. As per the experts US Air Force AW planes like A, A-18 Growler has better AW capabilities compared to China's J-16D. Although the information about the J-16D is classified, the power generation of its jamming pods is questionable. U.S. kept improving its electronic countermeasure systems with the experiences from global operations or even combat experiences, which helped the U.S. ECM systems keep their advantage. Experts believed that during current Taiwan crises PLA and U.S. military were interested in testing each other's electronic warfare strengths, noting that during the Taiwan Strait crisis of 1995-96, American forces jammed almost all the PLA's military radar systems during its missile tests. Even after U.S. Speaker visit to Taiwan, during Chinese live fire drills around Taiwan, seven U.S. reconnaissance planes were spotted operating close to Taiwan, which included an RC 135V Rivet Joint Electronic Surveillance Aircraft, RC 135S Cobra Ball Measurement, and Signature Intelligence Aircraft. 3 U.S. Navy P-8A Poseidon Patrol and Reconnaissance Aircraft, 1 USAF Boeing E-3G Sentry Airborne Early Warning and Control Aircraft and 1 Lockheed U-2S High Altitude Reconnaissance Aircraft, thus sending a strong message to China that Taiwan is not alone in its struggle for its defense. Feel free to share your views on comments box. If you liked this video, please share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more of these videos. With this I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends.